members present today are Janet Herman, Chairman, and Julia Bills, Vice Chairman. The, the BZA coordinator is Debbie Nesbitt, and staff members are Mel Wilson and Abby Freudel. First, I offer into the record the affidavit of publication pertaining to today's meeting, February 9th, 2022. Excuse me. The board hereby takes official notice of and admits into evidence on the record the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance, Chapter 1003, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended, and Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended. Next, I call for a motion to approve the minutes of the previous BZA meeting of January, January 26, 2022. So moved. And I second. The hearing procedure is informal, but is a teleconference and is recorded. The planning staff will reach each request into the record. The petitioner will be unmuted, state their name, and make a brief presentation to the board explaining the reason and hardship for the requested variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. When the board is satisfied with the material presented, the chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. To indicate that you would like to speak, please click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, the staff will read them into the record. Before a call for the vote, the petitioner re may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote and at that time, the discussion has ended. No further discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today uh, two members of the board must vote in favor of the petition for it to be approved. Uh, since there's only two of us on today, if we have a split vote, we will have to wait until next week for the, uh, I mean, in two weeks for the other um, board member to uh, view this. If a variance is approved, you have six months to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested or the variance will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has a right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court this must be done within 30 days of the decision. Paperwork indicating the board's decision will be mailed to the petitioners. Sixteen twenty two Ron Farley requests an exception to the front yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a new single family residence and a retaining wall at 1524 Shalimar Ridge Lane maintaining a front yard of 40 feet in lieu of 50 feet for the home and a front yard of 10 feet in lieu of 50 feet for the wall as required by the NU non-urban district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. So is there Mr. Tim Meyer on? Um, Mr. Meyer yes. and I am I am here. You could just unmute him if it's not going to let you. Okay. All right. And Mr. Parley, you are also unmuted to make your presentation. Okay. Mr. Meyer is going to present. Okay. Um, basically, we are here for um, the same reason we were here a year ago. This is a property that's very difficult to develop because of the steep terrain. We asked for and received a variance for these setbacks previously. Uh, the timing was such that construction didn't happen. And so we're back before you basically requesting the same thing that we previously had approved uh, with BZA 17-21. Uh, and that was actually almost a year ago, 224-21 is when that was approved. Um, the retaining walls and everything are still the same. The house has been reconfigured a little bit, but in general, it's the same. So we're just basically asking for reapproval of the BZA that was approved a year ago. Okay. All right, Angelia, do you have any other questions? No, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Okay. Is there anyone on this WebEx that's in favor or opposition? Please hit the hand by your name. Doesn't sound like anybody. Um, okay, I'm. Gonna go. I don't see anyone. Okay, 
I'm going to a 16 dash 22. I'm going to vote to approve the variance as advertised. Uh, it's been approved already uh, about almost a year ago, and um, they just did not. Uh, we're, we're not able to uh, get, get all the work done in the time. I second it. Okay, your paperwork will be sent to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Yes. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Seventeen dash twenty two Lions Chase Development LLC requests an exception to the side yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a twelve foot high retaining wall with a four foot fence on top at one seven eight zero Union Road and four zero five zero Ripa Avenue, maintaining all side yards of zero feet in lieu of six feet on lots fifty six, fifty seven, and fifty eight as required by the R5 and FPR5 residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Mr. Cutler and Mr. Arnold, you are both unmuted to give your presentation. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank the, the board members for their time for considering this request um, for a variance to the side yard of three lots on the proposed Lions Chase um, development. Um, this, this is a new development that is being constructed um, on Union Road, just north of Rebus Barracks Road at 1780 Union Road. Um, generally, the, this development site is relatively flat, uh, with the exception of a few areas. Um, due to the steep topography um, of this one particular area along the south property line, um, there's a need to install a retaining wall um, to account for this change in topography. Um, this wall will be constructed across the side yard of lots 56, 57, and 58 in order to develop um, these three lots and make it possible for new homes to be constructed on them. Um, we're specifically requesting the variance be granted for reducing the side yards from six feet to zero feet um, for construction of the aforementioned retaining wall on lots 56, 57, and 58. If you have any questions, um, myself or Chris Keller would be more than happy to answer them for you. There are reasons. So is that the retaining wall that you're replacing? Is that an old one that you had before? No, this is a new development site. Um, so there is no wall there. This property is um, it's currently, you know, there's no structures on the property. So it's, it's just for safety because of the top topography drops off. Well, it's just, it's basically, you know, on one side of the street, there's a creek that runs through the site. So we're having to stay outside of um, the buffer along that creek and you know, we can only have the road so high um, in order to remain out of that buffer. So with, with the way the street is set and with what the grades are along our boundary line, it's just, you know, for, for that particular area to make it usable, we need to um, install a retaining wall to, to make the elevations work out. It's just too much grade to have that big of a long of a slope in the rear yard and still be able to get a house on these lots. Okay. Uh, Angelia, do you have any other questions? No, not at this time. Okay. Is there anyone on this WebEx that's in favor or opposition? Can you please hit the hand next to your name to speak? I don't see anybody. Okay. Hearing none, 17 22. I vote to approve the variance as advertised and the hardship just being the need for safety on un uneven ground. And I'll second. 
So um, your your paperwork will be sent to you. Very good. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank you for your time. Huh? 18-22 First Community Credit Union requests an exception to the sign regulations for the purpose of replacing an existing monument sign at 7527 Telegraph Road, <clears throat> maintaining a sign height of 12 feet in lieu of eight feet as required by the C8 Planned Commercial District Regulation, Section 1003.168 Sign Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and C8 Ordinance 22903. Mr. Barons, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, nice to see y'all. I'm gonna see if I can share my screen here for a moment. Um, you can hear I'll me. I'll have to make you uh, the presenter for you to share your screen, just one second. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So you'll have to, in the WebEx app, click share screen and then click whatever application you have your exhibit in. It's coming up now. Okay, do you see the picture of that sign there? Yes. I do, yeah. Okay, great. Um, that is the existing sign that's in front of this bank. It's been there for a long time. Um, and it's uh, worn out, it's getting replaced. The problem with the sign, that is an eight foot tall sign. And you can see it sits right down next to the ground. And in this location, they've got four lanes of traffic plus a turn lane. So the sign is really visually blocked to almost everybody driving by. So at any rate, I think you've got a submission of our proposed new sign. I'm going to show it here. You can see that drawing, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, <clears throat> we just want to get the bottom of that sign at least three foot up off the ground because it's obviously to look at it. Number one, it's blocked. And number two, if you can see it, you direct your eyes right down to the ground where uh, it's, it's not the best for somebody driving. So Anyway, we're not asking for a size variance. We just want to get that thing up so people can see it and it's not sitting on the ground. Um, the sign that, like I said previously, has been there for a long time and it's proven through customer comments that it's just too low that they can't see it. So anyway, we're asking to get the sign up in the air a little bit. Thank you. And then uh, where the little dog is, I guess you're going to have some advertising or something? Or? Yeah, that's just an updated message center. It's, uh, um, I think the old one was like two and a half foot tall. This is three and a half foot tall. So it's a foot taller message center unit, uh, which is why we need one foot of extra height. But the rest of it, we just want to get it up off the ground. Okay, because it's on Telegraph, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is great. Okay. Um, Angelia, do you have any other questions? No, I don't. Okay. Is there anyone on this WebEx that wants to speak in favor or opposition to this? Please hit the hand by your name. I don't see anyone. Oh, all right. 18-22, uh, I'm going to vote to approve the variance as advertised, the hardship being the need for identification on a busy road such as Telegraph. I second it. All right. Um, so your paperwork will be sent to you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I guess meeting adjourned. And I apologize greatly to everybody for keeping me waiting. This in 25 or 26 years, that's the first time I've ever forgotten. <laughs>